Sadis. How are you? I hope you all are fine. Today is Monday and the date is the 16th of November 2020. اليوم سادس بدنا ننتقل للstudent book we will move to the student book page 32 صفحة 32 okay. uh, we have these paragraphs uh, we will listen to them then we will read them together and explain them together بدنا نسمعهم بعدين then we will read it بعدين بدنا نقرأهم then we will explain them بدنا نفسرهم okay اليوم الدرس هو عبارة عن listening and reading أكثر مما إنه توضيح للبراغرافز tomorrow إن شاء الله we will um, explain them uh, each one ال, يعني كل فقرة لحالها each paragraph alone كل فقرة بدنا نفسرها ونوضحها and we will have uh, questions and uh, we will take the meanings and find out and all of that but today we will focus on listening and reading بدنا نركز على الاستماع والقراءة بدنا نركز على سماع الفقرات وقراءتها okay then we will talk about exercise number two. Let's now move to listening. بدنا ننتقل للاستماع للفقرات. Okay, let's listen to the paragraphs. Unit three, lesson three, page 32. Exercise one, listen and read. Hello, I'm Franz. I come from Switzerland. I live in this house. It's a traditional wooden chalet. My dad had the sloping roof built to stop the snow from collecting on it. My name's Liza. I live in a little village by the Mediterranean. We had our house painted white to reflect the sun's heat. This helps keep the inside of the house nice and cool. I'm Leila, and I'm from Kenya. The Maasai people in Kenya build their rounded houses from bent branches. They have their roofs covered in cow dung. I'm Robert from New Zealand. In some places in New Zealand, people have their house built on stilts. They are raised to keep animals out. Hi, my name's Winston. I live in the tallest residential block of apartments in Chicago, Illinois. It has 70 stories and is 195 meters high. It's a good thing that I'm not scared of heights. Okay, Sadis. بعد ما اسمعنا الفقرات مع بعض, uh, let's read it together. بدي أقرأ لكم إياها. بدي إيانا نركز مزبوط يا سادس لأنه رح يكون في عنا امتحان قراءة. Uh, من هذه الفقرات. Now let's read it together and explain some of the meaning and some of the ideas. يعني بدنا نقرأ ونفسر بعض المعاني وبعض الكلمات. طبعا uh, again بكرر راح يكون حصة في حصة تانية للبراغرافس تفسير أكثر وتوضيح أكثر اليوم بدنا نأخذ فكرة عامة رح نركز على القراءة والاستماع Let's read the paragraphs together okay? Lesson 3 Listen and read Exercise number 1 Listen and read Look at the first paragraph We have this boy His name is Franz okay? His name is Franz Look at his house Look at his house. It is a traditional wooden chalet. Chalet means kuch. Okay, let's read the paragraph. Hello, I am Franz. I come from Switzerland. I live in this house. It's a traditional wooden chalet. My dad had. The sloping roof built to stop the snow from collecting on it. 
نتفرج على الروف اوكي لوك ات ذا روف يا سادس ات از سلوبينج روف بما معناه سقف مائل اوكي سلوبينج روف نتفرج على sentence my dad had the sloping roof built to stop the snow from collecting on it okay so his dad had the sloping roof built بما معناه انه his dad didn't build the sloping roof by himself no someone did it for him so his dad had the sloping roof built Why is that? Why he had a, a sloping roof to stop the snow from collecting on it? علشان يمنع تكون أو تك تراكم الجلو الثلوج سري على سطح الكوخ المنزل. Traditional wooden chalet. Okay. Let's move to the second paragraph. My no, my name's Liza. Look at Liza. Look at her. This is her photo. This is her picture. My name name's Liza. I live in a little village. She lives in village by the Mediterranean. Mediterranean. Okay, we had our house painted white. Why they had their house painted white? Why? To reflect the sun's heat. علشان يحمو أو يعكسوا حرارة الشمس. علشان شو ضل البيت cold too. This helps. Keep the inside of the house nice and cool. علشان يحفظ الحرارة ويبقى الجو داخل المنزل لطيفا وباردا. Okay. Look at Layla or Layla. I am Layla. Okay. This is the picture of Layla. I am Layla, and I am from Kenya. She is from Kenya. The Masai people. In Kina, build their rounded house from paint branches. They have their roofs covered in cow dung. Okay, look at their house. They are rounded. Okay, they are rounded. على شكل دائرة مدورة منازلهم مدورة from paint branches. يعني تبنى من أخصان الأشجار المثنية. Okay. They have their roofs covered in cow dung. Okay. Cow dung. روث الأبقار. Okay. Let's move to Robert. This is Robert. I am Robert from New Zealand. In some places in New Zealand, people have their house built in stilts. On stilts, they are raised to keep animals out. Okay, look at the house. مرفوعة على أعمدة. Why is that? Why they raise their house houses on stilts? To keep Animals out. علشان تبقى الحيوانات بعيدة يعني ما تدخل المنازل. Okay, look at their house. طبعا مش بكل مكان في New Zealand. In some places in New Zealand. Okay. بالنهاية في عنا Winston. Hi, my name's Winston. I live in the tallest residential block. Of apartments in Chicago, Illinois. Okay. يعيش في أطول مبنى سكني. It has seventy stores and is one hundred and ninety-five meters high. ارتفاعه مئة وخمسة وتسعين متر. 
it's a good thing that I'm not scared of heights. Uh, so Winston doesn't scared of heights. لا يخاف أو لا يخشى الارتفاعات. Okay, حكينا يا سادس. رح نرجع نعيد ونوضح ونأخذ أسئلة أكثر. اليوم خلينا نركز أكثر على الاستماع والقراءة. Okay, exercise number two. هذا زي واجب عليكم. Write about an unusual house that you know. بدنا نكتب عن منزل أوكي غير اعتيادي منزل غير مألوف منزل غريب draw a picture and tell the class about it بدنا نرسم زي صورة بسيطة عن المنزل look at these houses نتفرج على هاي المنازل this is had the sloping roof built this one had painted had their house painted white this house they have their roofs covered in cow dung they these people have their house built on stilts and the last one is very high very tall the tallest residential block of apartments okay so بدنا نرسم صورة ونكتب some sentences عنها بنفس الطريقة for example uh, our house um, or we had our house painted uh, 